When we had last left the Spacefarer, following the violent attack of the Hunter and the Starborn, well, the Starborn Hunter, they decided to have a little check-in with everybody, and it was from there that Mateo at the Lodge decided that they should talk about the Unity with none other than Keeper Aquilus at the Sanctum Universum. And it was there that they were given two other leads to go check in at the House of Enlightenment and with House Varun. But before doing that, it was probably time to go scrounge up some more artifact temple stuff and get powers and maybe drive a car. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we are. Let's do it. Let's head on back out. There we are. And we'll go check out... Well, we've got two of them, right? I think one is for an artifact and one is for a power. I think. Hmm. Yeah. Acquire the power. Oh, no. We already got... Okay. Cool. Sure. Let's go to Eridani 3B. Oh, can I talk to... SSNN again? Oh, Companions Belongings. Oh, uh, we should probably do that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that real quick. I don't know that she had anything on her. Of interest, right? Definitely had a few knickknacks. A little bit of equipment, but I don't think... I don't think we had, like, any extremely good equipment there. But we'll see. What we'll have here? a look. Perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. Really? Should we? Morale in the lodge has been measurably hey. reduced. Oh. I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. Oh, you're you quitting. To Andrea. Oh. Wait, isn't it Andresia? I thought it was Andresia and not Andrea. Is the J-Nuts, like, enunciated? I'll be there, Noel. I promise. I'll try, but you never know with me. Always pulled here and there. No, I... I can't. I just can't. I'll be there. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Whoa. Wait for the service. Five UT days. I wonder if it's possible to actually miss it. Okay. Anybody else here? No. Let's go on down here. Oh, here we are. Andresia's outfit. Eh. Okay, I'll take it all. Hey, Sarah, you want to wear this outfit? <laughs> if you need time away from here. I understand. Thanks. Feel free to Let's see what Sarah looks like. <laughs> Let's just immediately have her wear this. Put it on, Sarah. Put it on. <laughs> Look. You you have a lot of say in what I do and do not do. But in this case, when it comes to inventory management, I have the final say. Wear Andresia's outfit, Sarah. She's kind of pulling it off, right? It definitely doesn't fit her vibe whatsoever, though. Right? Like we had said, Amelia Earhart's outfit <sighs> definitely fits her vibe. To think the lodge turned into a battlefield. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. Okay. I will take that back. Oh. I guess I need to equip the other outfit again. Anya, there we go. Okay. Goodbye. Well, I guess while we're waiting for the, like, funeral service to begin, we can go do this other shit then, huh? Let's head on out here. Have we been to this Eridani planet? Or system, even? It sounds very familiar. I feel like we have. Okay. We'll just set a course over this way. Yep, scanner anomaly. We have definitely been here. 
Okay. And set course, and we'll jump. Good. Anything out here? Of interest? Anything in orbit? I don't think so. Okay. Well, let's land this sucker. There we are. Good. Oh, whoops. There we are. Land. Did I do it right? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, we should probably check what kind of planet this is. Okay. There's a thin atmosphere, it's CO2. I don't know, it seems fairly safe. Right? Yeah. Maybe there's some radiation. Maybe there's solar radiation. Let's see, what suit am I currently wearing? Thermal or airborne? Or maybe it was like corrosive. We'll swap out for radiation. Okay. Oh, down here. Yeah, thermal. Alrighty. And I'll stash that. Good. And how about this antiseptic one? Airborne? 40? Hmm. How's this one? Oh, also 40. Yeah, that's just way better. Alright. So, let's get radiation, just in case. Good. And this one, huh? Okay. Good. Should probably drop these off somewhere, huh? Let's take a quick nap, get some extra XP. Good, good, good. You, uh, have a med pack? <laughs> okay, and let's also eat and drink real fast. How about chunks beef and a little bit of milk? Great. Okay, let's head on out. Go check out this little place. Now, how do we get our car? Start an outpost. Okay. Huh. Can I only summon the car on a planet where I have... Where I have access to... Huh. To an outpost? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, you know what? That tooltip. I forgot if that was on camera or before I loaded in. But there was also a tooltip about seeing a, a vehicle. Maybe you can get that to point us to the nearest uh, what do you call it? <laughs> a vehicle technician. Hmm. Okay. Should we go do that real quick? Yeah, fuck it. I don't want to run out here if we have access to a car. Let's see. Or maybe it's in the help menu. Do you think they added something? Let's see. Controls, crew, fast travel. Huh. Ship. Vehicle. To unlock access to vehicles, visit a ship services tech and ask to purchase a vehicle. Oh, you gotta buy it. This will give you access to the Rev 8 
any other vehicles you may own and allow you to customize them. Ooh, they're leaving room open for future. Once unlocked, your vehicle will automatically appear next to your ship after landing on a planet. You can drive both you and your companion around. There are different control schemes that can be selected in the settings menu. Pick the, the control scheme that feels best to you. Descriptions are in the settings slash controls page. Vehicles are equipped with a weapon that can fire several shots before automatically recharging. It can be upgraded by spending skill points in appropriate skills to match the weapon type. Oh. For example, the Rev-8's turret can be upgraded through lasers, heavy weapon, and demolition skills. There's also an aim mode that uses O2 to slow down time. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Horn is on R. Can switch between first and third. Headlights, same as your suit light. Vertical boost, forward boost. Aim turret, fire turret. Okay. Sure. Let's see. Controls. Is this it? Huh. Vehicle controls. Flexible. Vehicle drives towards the input direction relative to where the camera is looking. Vehicle steers where the camera is looking with up and down controlling forward and reverse. Relative to where the camera is looking? Huh. Maybe I would rather flexible. Right? Maybe? Yeah. Relative to where the camera is looking is throwing me off. Because shouldn't... Flexible reads like it wouldn't be relative to where the camera is looking, but relative to where the vehicle is pointing. Right? Because the one is, you know... If you press forward, you go forward because the vehicle is push is pointing forward, right? Or if you press forward, you look, you go forward toward where the camera is pointed rather than where which direction the vehicle is pointed. Right? So I'm not sure which is which. They both read like the same. Okay, let's go on back then to... Fuck it. Back here. This way. And... Let's see... Alpha Centauri. And... Jemison. And we want to go to, I guess, just New Atlantis. In general. And we'll buy our little car. Okay, we could have just ran there. But where's the fun in that? The update just came out recently. Like about a week or less ago. Okay. And then you? We're Hello. asking everyone to take care of any leeches on their ships. We don't want anything All that right. can help Fair you. Fair enough. With. I'd like to purchase a vehicle. Okay, no problem. Explore planets with a vehicle. Your purchase will Unlock access to your own vehicle hangar and automatically equip your ship with the Rev-8. Purchase for 25,000 credits. Sure. It's pretty cheap. You now have access to vehicles. The Rev-8 will automatically deploy next to your ship wherever you land. Visit a ship services tech at any major port to manage your vehicles. Man. Alright. You know what comes next. You give us a vehicle, you give us a car. Now we want a mech. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but come on. How many mech parts have we seen? Can we get a fucking mech or two or what? Fire rate, 1.5. Energy damage, 37.79. Armor, 25%. It does actually have stats. The Retrievable Exploration Vehicle is a classic buggy from Nova Galactic's heyday. Light on protection, but very maneuverable. It's equipped with a laser turret. Oh, they're totally going to do cars from different manufacturers, right? Or at least there's room to do it. 
Okay. Sure. Like, I couldn't see every manufacturer creating a vehicle, but, you know, like, Hope Tech would probably have a more cargo-focused one, you know? Deimos would probably have a more military-focused one. Okay. I'd like to view my vehicles. Okay, no problem. Hmm, same. Oh, I can change the color. Oh, you can really change the color. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll keep it as is for now. Sure. Take care. And then... Let's go on back to... Here, Eridani 3B. Great. And we'll land. Tailor a vehicle's driving characteristics to your taste in the settings menu. Okay. There it is! Oh my gosh. Let's see, if I enter with my suit light on, does the car start up with its headlight on? Oh, it looks like it. Okay, that makes sense to me. Look at Sarah holding on to the little holder unit there. Oh shit, you drive it with the little units on the left and right. Oh shit, I like that. I like that a lot. Look at that. What the fuck? What the fuck am I doing? Oh my gosh, this is- this drives so weird. What the fuck? Low gravity means one wrong step, and you could go flying. Sarah, I don't have my license. I don't have my fucking Rev-8 space car driving license. When I press left, I go forward, but when I press right, I go backwards, but also right. What the hell? Okay, controls. Let's go to traditional. The vehicle steers toward where the camera is looking, with up and down controlling forward and reverse. I don't know what the fuck this means. Flexible. Because traditional sounds like this is how a vehicle in Halo <laughs> moves, right? This is how you drive the Warthog. Yeah, so if I push W, yeah, this is, this is Halo controls. Right? And thus my, my A and D are mostly irrelevant, right? I can move it a little bit, but not that much. And here's our Blaster Master. Okay, yeah, this makes sense to me. What the fuck was going on with the other one, though? Does that one maybe work better in first person? Okay, flexible. Vehicle drives toward the input direction relative to where the camera is looking. Okay. So here I'm I'm just cutting the wheels. But if I go Yeah, if I go into third person, I actually choose to drive. Like I apply forward and back. Oh my god, I see. Relative to where the camera is looking. Cause I'm looking forward. And I push D on my controller, or on my- on my controller, on my keyboard. I'm going left and right. But if I push forward... Oh my god, that- that is wild. That is such a- I've never- this is like tank controls? I think? Yeah, that's what it is. It's tank controls. Except you don't have an upper- no, you do! The little gun on top. It's tank controls. That's what what uh, flexible is. Oh my god. But even not even that, right? Not even quite tank controls because you don't you don't need to apply for well, shit, I don't fucking know. It feels closer to tank controls, but I don't think exactly. Okay. Are there other vehicle options here for me? Bindings maybe? 
Oh, God. Is the vehicle going to be all the way down at the bottom? Can I move like this? Yeah. Yeah, vehicle is all the way down here. Okay. Sure. Well, I will take the halo controls. Can I turn on my scanner? I can. Do I pick up... Oh, I do pick up shit, too. Okay. Sure. Is there a handbrake? Ooh, I don't know that there is. Okay. This is fucking wild. I can actually see Sarah there, too. This is wild. I never thought I'd fucking play a BGS game where this was possible. Okay, hang on. What if- <laughs> saying sorry. This is too fucking wild for my fucking brain. Alright. Let's try flexible in first person. God, it's the same fucking principle, huh? Oh, that's wild! In first person, it's like I'm steering my character, right? Because if I push forward, no matter which way I go, I, I go toward where I'm looking, right? And if I go to the left, I still I kind of strafe forward. I do a forwardy strafe. What the fuck? Okay, I was thinking they would play kind of like, like, you know, most driving games. If you decide to, for some ungodly reason, play with keyboard and mouse. Okay, we'll go to traditional. Good. All right. So this is where we need to go. Well, let's go into third person. Uh-oh. Oh, I better quick save. This could get out of hand. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Sarah. Holy shit. I'm surprised she didn't say anything when uh, we got in. This is wild. What the fuck? I can't believe what we're doing. God, you know what this means now. You know what this means. When Fallout 5 rolls around, there's gonna have to be a fucking car. <laughs> right? There's gonna have to be a fucking car in Fallout 5. Right? The fucking... Outlaw or what- God, what's it called? I always forget what it's called. Because they don't mention it that often. The name of the car in Fallout 2. The Outlaw? The Outrider? The... The Lawbreaker? The... The Vigilante? <laughs> Something like that. Holy shit. Look at all this weird oh, shit here, too. Okay. Good. This rocks. I can't believe this. And look at how the vehicle, like... You know, it, it's moving around like it's physicsing in the world like a fucking buggy. And look at the tires and shit. Huh. Like, look at this. I'm actually getting kind of caught on stuff. But you can also, like, if you fuck it, fuck it around in a bit of a way, you can go over it. Is it actually mindful of where the wheels are? It's not just a fake out? I think it is, because didn't- yeah, we got- Yeah, look! I got kind of stuck. It is actually, like, simulating four-wheel drive. What the fuck? How did they do this? Yeah, look! Yeah, because not all the tires are touching the- the surface. The ground. It'll just spin. <laughs> you want to drive, Sarah? 
Look, if we're going by Halo rules, I can't ride as a passenger until Starfield 2. Well, this is awesome. Okay. Am I even taking environ damage? Or maybe not because of this planet. We picked, like, the best planet to do this on, I suppose. Where I'm not, like, freezing or irradiating or whatever to death. This place. Is it thousands of years old? Millions? Okay, over here. Also... There's, like, dirt and dust collecting in the treads of the tires. It matches the color of the planet, but is that just a coincidence? Right? Like, if we did this on another planet, would it matter? <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Okay. I have to assume that given the proximity of the release for the car, uh, relative to Shattered Space coming out, that they got everybody recorded around that time, right? Okay. God, we have to take this to an even lower grav planet, huh? Can you take this with you for the Red Mile run? What happens if I get the car stuck? You know? What happens if I do that? Is it possible to get it stuck? It definitely has like a health meter. But is that for environmental damage too? Uh oh. Sarah, we're becoming one with this structure. Okay. Don't worry, Sarah. I got it. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Let's just get out here. <laughs> Vehicle exit is obstructed. Oh shit. Okay. Oh god. How about now? Oh, perfect. That's perfect. Look at that. That's called parallel parking, Sarah. Look it up. There we are. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Sure. Where's our first one? Right there. Lovely. Okay. Then up here. Seems as if I have limitless boosting in here, you know? It says I'm running out of boost, but I don't believe it. The sound effect keeps playing, at least. And that that's enough to make me feel like I am actually going faster. It's a real Dragon Age Inquisition horse situation. Okay. they go? They down there? You picked the wrong day to piss me off. Guardian Tal. Ah. 
Let's get some people detection again. Nice. Okay. Where'd the car go? It looks like all of these, um, creepy looking rocks and shit, they remind me of that silly magnetic sand, that like kid's toy or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Is that our car right there? No, it ain't. Okay. Sure. Well, let's go back to our ship. Good. And it'll just automatically come with us, right? The the car, I don't have to actually go get it. What I would have really enjoyed as well, you know what I would have really liked? I would have loved a vehicle bay on the ship, you know? You can only bring the vehicle with you, and it, it still automatically gets it and everything, but you have, if you want the vehicle on your ship, you need a vehicle bay as well. Or a landing bay that has a a, like, accompaniment for the vehicle. Something like that. Okay. Let us take off. Or actually, let's search for this other one. At Gooniboo 6D. Okay. Show resources. It's an extreme environment. Atmosphere is toxic, it says. Sure. And we have been to Goonie before. There we are. Let's land there. I guess we'll get our toxic protection suit. Another perfect landing. Ten out of ten. All right. Yeah, I think that's some toxic precipitation going on too. Okay. Let's head over down this way. Great. Oh, what power did we even get? Hmm. Reactive shield, is that it? Form a shield of pure cosmic light that can weaken and even reflect enemy projectiles. Oh. That's pretty useful. How powerful is it, I wonder? Okay. Maybe I'll put it on 8 instead of Grav Dash. Alrighty. And then... We want to suit up for Corrosive. Stash these back. Okay. And then, take all this, and I'll equip that one. Okay, corrosive resist, sure. There we are. If you're overloaded, we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying. I mean, I should probably stow away these other items here real quick. Okay. There we are. And then in here. Oops. Yeah, let's stash these. And the hats. Okay. Lovely. Oh, I've also got some resources I can stick in there. Great. Weapons. Gallows Reach, which I stole. I'll stash that. Unrestrained Vengeance. I don't know where I got this. Okay. Oh, and Andresia's EM Equinox. Right. I'll stash it too. Okay. That works. 
Okay, now let's get out of here. I'm ready to head out again when you are. Down this way. Over here. And back out. Let's do a quick save just in case. Great. Oh yeah, we're incurring some hazard whatever. Fancy a drive? Oh, she does say something. Yep, corrosive vapor. Okay. Unknown over there, but that ain't what we want. Unexplored feature, unknown. Huh. Everything I'm picking up says to go over this way-ish. There's some shit floating right there. I don't know if that's part of the grav anomaly or what. Oh yeah, there it is. Wow, you can just make out the big circle at the tippy top throughout all this nastiness. Kind of cool. I Whew. Liked that. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> sure. You know what, Sarah? I like that. I like that. Over here. Good. Over this way. Great. And let's do a quick save because we'll have a rumble right before we get out. Do you think we'll have time for our our shit to get fixed back up? Well, here, I shouldn't drive the car down this. If this were a test, you would have failed. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. It's hard to drive backward with these sorts of controls. It really only suits going forward and turning. Okay. There we go. Hopefully this lets our protections recharge, but we'll see. All right. Good Lord, we have to wait for this whole thing to open up. Yeah, we got regen in here. Should we check in with Vladimir again? After we get this? Oh look, there's actually the markings on some of these rings here. Yeah, look. On the exterior. Huh, I never noticed that. Good. All right. And whoa, another one right in front of me. In we go. See what we get this time. Yeah, the the possibility for the physics in this engine is kind of wild. Okay. Exploring ruins, uncovering the mysteries of the universe. Oh, I got a level. <gasps> Let's see, what's my third weapon? Oh, this non lethal one. Right. Huh. Okay, great. Big mistake. Thank you. Good. Okay. So where's our, our car at? 
I do wish that I had some type of marker for the car, you know, same way that we ha- Oh, shit, we do! They thought of everything! Okay. This is gonna make, like, scanning around planets on foot super duper easy. There we are. It is funny that, um... There's no enclosure on this, so we are still exposed to the elements. Right. Which, you know, it harkens its design from a lot of real-life, you know, buggies and moon buggies and shit like that. But we have, like, a special need here wherein we're in hazardous environments. We're just getting the corrosive rain on us. <laughs> Fucking Nova Galactic didn't give a shit. Yeah, I can just scan stuff. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, before we get some kind of ailment, let's get out of here. Let's go check back in at the eye and with Vladimir real fast. There we are. Good. Alpha Centauri. And the eye. Maybe we can get more of these. I don't know how frequently we should be checking in. Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Okay. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. And... Aha! Uh -huh. The eyes always open to Constellation. Great. I guess we'll never know what Andresia will say when we're driving. Alright, now let's board here. Good. And then... Over this way. Vladimir, you got anything new? The spanner's torque is what the eye needs now. We'll fix our good as new. Okay. Been washing red here and there all over the station. Grim work. Hmm. Can you point me to another artifact temple? The eye's showing signs over another one of really? the big anomalies. Here. Catch a smile. Okay. Shit, rule of threes, we'll do one more. You know, we got our new vehicle. May as well make use of it. Okay. Sound look like the name of a system that we've been to before as well. Okay. Set course. Piazzi 4C. Do a jump. Great. All right. Got someone else out here. Oh, it's Genghis Khan again. I'm glad to see you again. Shall we talk? Sure. God, I keep running into you. already full. If you want to share in the spoils, feel free. Those three fools thought they could best me and deny me my tribute. They paid for their arrogance. I'm surprised to see you. Glad you made it out alive. I'm surprised to see you again. I am as well. Perhaps it is destiny. Space is vast. Glorious. I finally feel alive. Ah! <laughs> I think of you often. My crew and I have a toast in your honor after every victory. It's good you can finally chart your own course. Don't make me regret liberating you. That's a nice gesture. Don't make me regret all this. <laughs> Fear not. I would never harm you and yours. We must not tarry. You see security and the rangers do not look kindly upon me. One day, they will quake in terror. Admittedly, after I get a ship better than this, pick up. Farewell, friend. Mm. 
I wonder what would happen if we helped, uh, what's her butt? Because didn't she also want to leave? Right? So wouldn't she have also appeared out here? It makes sense that we, we don't see Roosevelt, right? Because he, he just wanted to stay there. Well, no, she also wanted to stay there, didn't she? Yeah, just un in a different way. Okay. There we are. I do find it interesting that they, they did ultimately go that route for this iteration of Genghis Khan. That he would sort of behave like his namesake. Right, after who, who he was cloned by, or a clone of. It makes me wonder about, you know, are they saying something else about other clones? Right? Like, is Hadrian constantly fighting her own instinct to behave like who she's cloned after? I wonder. Or maybe that in and of itself is saying something about the status of Ve Victus, right? Right, maybe the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree, but Ve Victus has been placed in an extraordinary weird circumstance to have behaved in the way that he did. I don't know, there's there's quite a few ways you can go with that. Okay. There we go. The whole cloning situation is is super fascinating. And I, I'm honestly, I'm kind of surprised that we haven't had more light shed on it, right? We've it feels like for all the stuff about it, we've had very little. We've only briefly touched on it. Okay. Good. And this place is it's cold. Okay. Sure. And I think we're in a cold part of the planet, too. Let's get up. We'll get our thermals on. Oh, there's wildlife here we can shoot Any at if we want. For me? We probably shouldn't, but I kind of want to. Right? I kind of want to test the little laser. Okay. Over this way. And I'll stash that, that, and that. Great. And we'll get the thermal. Okay. Lovely. All right. Quick save again, just in case. Yeah, the car is so nice. What I'm seeing. This world has all the essential building blocks to support life. It does have life on it too, Sarah. There was an alien right out there. Okay. Fluorine. Sure. Good. Is that the commonality? Has every planet that had these... Um... I don't know, temples? Have they been... Have they had, like, an atmosphere to support life? I don't think so. Right? Okay. So if we kill these things, do we get the auto-scan as well? Just as we would have if we did while we were on foot? What was that? Oh my gosh. It's taking very little damage. Oops, you blew it. Oh my gosh. Sarah, I really did. Okay. There's no slowing down now. Holy shit. What the? They're gone. Whew. There's some more over there. With their like red asses or whatever. Do we have a further out scan range too? Oh, these are creatures. Huh. Hunting glow hands. Oh, it's its hands, not its ass. Sounds like it's coming over to fuck my shit up. 
No, I don't think so. I think it's chill. Okay, which one of these is our destination? That right there? I think so. A little okay. bit of cold never hurt anyone, right? Is the... Is the car actually driving differently on the ice and shit? We're really moving now. Yeah, look! I'm actually sliding on the ice! Oh my god! Huh! What the fuck? Weird. And because this is snow, is it also behaving differently because we're on snow? And notice as well, there's none of the... Like, the dirt color in the on the tire treads. It's not the same, like, brown. If I keep driving around, is a different color going to accumulate? Like right, if I keep fluffing up a bunch of snow. Look, I think I do see some accumulating. Like, the white? Huh. I think. Maybe I'm just tripping. Nah, yeah, I'm tripping. I think it's still the same dirt color, right? Yeah. Oh shit, I'm hungry and thirsty. Okay. Let's tend to that real fast. We'll get some cola. And chocolate labs. Why not? Yeah, this thing is is wild. I don't know how they fucking did it. Yeah, look, I'm totally sliding on this because this this counts as like an ice surface here. That's kind of like way more than I was expecting. Okay. Here. Okay, let's get out here and look for a door properly. Okay. Well, I don't know where a door is. I guess we can go up here and then jump right down to the marker. That should work just fine. Yeah, here we are. Good. Whew. Alright, in we go. Temple Phi. And let's get our little prize here. Okay. Right above me. How many of these do we usually have to run into? Is that significant? The number? Two. Three. Four. Five, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just five because three would have been too few. Alright. Maybe this time I'll pay attention to what we get. It will probably still be a good idea to look at the description and whatever. Alien reanimation. Oh shit. Look out, Mana Marco. Where's our friend at? No enemy? I still don't understand. 
understand how you can harness that type of power. Oh, there we go. Let's just blast the hell out of this bastard. How much shielding do I even have with this upgrade? This power. Okay. Maybe it's just a flat damage percentage reduction or whatever. Okay. Let's head on back to the ship. Let's see, where even is it? There we go. Yeah, I'm... Like, even when we were on foot there, and we were running on the ice, we didn't have, like, a Super Mario situation where, like, our character was sliding a bit out of control. You know, they added it in just special for... for the vehicle, right? That said, you could you could argue that it exists in zero-G environments, right? You kind of skitter around a bit out of control uh, when you activate your boosters on your character or on your ship. Hmm. So maybe it's a similar principle, but they've applied it to, like, a... I don't know, a surface area, I guess? I don't know. Thinking about how they got to work is kind of mind-boggling to me. Right? I expect that we'll see... Because of it, we'll see... And this was kind of my hope, a, a fleshed-out... Mount system in the next Elder Scrolls, right? A lot of people have been thinking that they'll be sailing ships as well, but I have no idea. Um... I think, at this point now, too... Like, there's no way. Like, people are going to so, so very much expect drivable cars, right? Surely not every car will be drivable in Fallout 5, right? But at the very least, you will have one car, right? And you can scavenge parts for it and everything. And I think that would be a good idea because people really love the power armor system. If you can make the cars feel very good in uh, Fallout 5 and, like, upgrade it and put more shit onto it, I think people would love that. You know? Uh, just purely off the basis of the focus on crafting in Fallout 4 and how much people enjoyed power armor. I think you do have to make the car in Fallout 5 if they go that route, right? Which, who knows? But, like I said, so many people are going to be anticipating it now. Um, if they do that, you have to make it feel substantially more clunky and, like, more diesel punk and lower tech in a certain, or like, dirtier tech than exists here in Starfield, right? Because, of course, you know, very NASA punk, especially the Nova Galactic aesthetic versus Fallout's diesel punk. You know? Ironic, considering, you know, it's all nuclear and there's a lot of retrofuturism, right? But, um, a lot of it is still, yeah, I, I guess, I guess the vehicles still feel, yeah? Right, the vehicles in Fallout 4, although they have the aesthetic shift, are they still... They're more retro-futuristic, aren't they? Or maybe they're like a combination? Yeah, maybe maybe it's more retro-futuristic now rather than diesel punk, right? Which would have been the car that you had in Fallout 2. Eh, yeah, something to look forward to. Really wild how they did it. Uh, it definitely seems like they've got more vehicles planned for the future. Maybe they'll add one with Shattered Space. You know, I could see that being the case. All right. Uh, when next we return, we'll get back on with our investigations here. We've done a couple of the, or three of these little powers. Oh, what did we even get? Oh, alien reanimation, right? Yeah, I'm, I guess we can figure what that is. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>